All right, good afternoon, everyone. There, right? This is basically right. our week 12. All right, week 12, basically, we are going to have a consultation, a discussion, or maybe I'm going to recap back again what basically you need to understand when it comes to submit your works, right, on week 14 there, right? Okay? And one of the most important thing is right now that you need to understand as you have to complete all the exercise and the assignment as well. All right. And if you think that you wanted to improve more on the exercise kind of works, you can basically submit resubmit but don't delete the previous kind of works to week 11 or week 12 or week 13 kind of holders and please rename your file according to your groups also at the same time all right for examples there are uh, we have we submit in week 12 all right which group do you order again okay, right now? Let's just say group one. All right, resubmit there, right, for example. Okay. This is only for example, just to make sure that we have the proper, you guys have the proper kind of filing name. All right, for the assignments, right, or maybe exercise come with assignments there, 0, 01 or 0, 02, all right, kind of works there, maybe. This is, me, this is my suggestions, but you can rename as long as you have the name of your groups. Because I'm going to take a look all the folders there from week one until week each one of you guys and make sure that you also have planned to record your presentation video for week 14 okay so week 14 I'm going to take the attendance the attendance that I'm going to take in week 14 for each classes just to make sure that you actually have enter and submit your works and i'm going to review your presentations offline i'm going to review them if you don't submit your submissions on video presentations i'll assume that you not actually in the classroom understand what i mean there Because why? Even though you actually came to the classroom normally, there are okay, normally uh, okay. Some of the cases that I have previously, the student came to the class for the final week of presentations. The problem is he did not submit his work or present his work or her work there. So what I did is I have to call you. I really hate to do that. To remind you back if i don't get that kind of works presentations of works video presentation in 10 minutes by the end of week 14 i assume that you not you don't have any interest to submit your works and also you actually has ready to fail Okay, I told you guys right now, I'm telling you guys online and I record the sessions at the same time and I hope each one of you guys remind your friend in your own groups, even though we have our groups, but please remind your friends, okay, about these situations because why? Because I already record the sessions there, so if you're 
if your parents or your guardians will ask why you fail because you not submit your works basically i show him these videos i show them these videos there this is week 12 we got another two weeks there okay extra two weeks that i have remind everyone there okay using these videos and everyone should remind your friends we got group two people around here group three group four and group six at the same time you guys can keep reminding your friends there about it okay guys do you guys understood about it do you have any questions So, yes. So project two also need to record the video presentation. You just compile everything for final presentation for for third assignments there. Okay. Oh, so the presentation video is for the last lab. Yeah, but you can actually conclude there, okay? You can okay. include your second assignments works at the same times. Okay. 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 Thank Even you. though basically I can actually made it, you have record two separate video, but I don't want to. So that mean I actually give you guys a chances, right? If I can compromise with you guys, you don't have to record those two videos. Only one video that conclude your third assignments and also your second assignments, and you have to show your improvement on your work. Step at the same time okay okay sir all right like so i will try over here i hope you actually have developed back again your character design okay before you finalize that one two three four five six seven eight nine we need 12 panels there, right? Okay. So work according to the brief. If you don't submit complete, also you might going to be failed. Simple as that. I have to be fair with most of your friends who actually commit, give the commitment and their works there. Right? Simple as that. You don't submit completely as I told you guys on the brief, even though I read the I wrote the brief a bit you know, for the exercise, right? In every weeks, in eight weeks. You don't follow exactly what I told. You don't actually follow the directions, the instructions. I assume that you not have interest on the works and I will fail. The students. Okay, because reading instructions, understand what we need in order to evaluate your works is really important, are really important there, right? Okay? For you guys to get through with the subjects, because it will show that you actually follow the instructions that we actually, the one who actually responsible to teach you the lessons and have guide you the way that it will work. And you need to follow the things that we actually have told for your own good, not for us. The right, whatever that you guys do is not for me. I don't have any kind of interest there. Okay, to tell you guys that to make sure that you produce a very good works for me. It's not that actually right. The question is. The questions are not, you should promote yourself that to me. It's just like you selling your product there, right? Right now, this is your product here. You want to sell your product to me, you have to make sure that you put your efforts on it. Otherwise, if I don't have any other choice, I will give the marks, I will pay for these products 
in my own terms. Not in your own terms, my own terms. If I have one ringgit, I give one ringgit only there. Okay? Because why? Because there is no value for money for these products. From week 10, what basically you have been going through for this? Did you actually create another word? Okay. I don't want to put a lot of comment on the work itself because I want you guys to think for your works independently that right because if you take a look there is a lot of things that you can improve from here based on your presentation of your thumbnails you have to do more okay you have to do more there again right? because if you go to a lot of people when they submit the works for each exercise they don't want they don't want to look at those works anymore that will basically one of the negative kind of attitude that you're not re being responsible to your works there. You give the people problems, you let the people to solve for you, not you actually the one that's responsible to solve that problem back again. You don't even have the attention to think how you to solve this one. And the worst thing is you don't even have the guts and the commitment to ask me whether I like it or not. That's your problem there, right? that you have to change, not me. I always open up my WhatsApp there, right? Before I go to sleep and wait for your call. I assume if you don't ask the questions, you understand what I'm saying and you have to work for it. Okay? You guys understood about it, there, right? This is one of the good examples of the commitment that this guy has, but the quality of the research and characters is not, it, it can be improved. And I, give, and I did give this guy because I cannot actually just random, I, I just can randomly actually choose, but I cannot just go through each works all the time. Because I'm going to wait until week 14 to evaluate all the works there. Because at this stage, it's a consultation stage. So that means if you're not actually, if you have problems, you have to find me. Instead, I find a new there, right? Okay. So if you take a look at some of the works that some of our friends have been done, right? Okay? When you actually submit the storyline, I won't actually write going to do a lot of critical kind of comment because why? Because I assume the storyline that I actually give you guys as a part of the reference for you guys to guide to get to guide you guys to develop your ideas there you will actually use them to visualize them back your characters there, right? your kind of stories there. okay so if i comment a lot on the storyline i think i i thought that you will be to do a lot of changes from there but the problem is if you not actually have concern about your kind of way to change your works there right or to improve your work from here i'll assume that this is the quality that you're going to produce that it doesn't show basically the the efforts that you have changed. At least this person actually tried hard enough to draw a tofu characters. And I came up with my own tofu characters here. More appealing than what the, the student did. 
but I'm using the ideas of samurai because there's one guy, all right, one student actually try to design a character there. But the main kind of issue that we have, if you portray your design, okay, okay this one looks okay. I think three quarter view is one of the best way to portray your ideas there. Don't portray your characters inside profiles all the time. One panel is more than enough, but most of them try to present your characters in three-quarter kind of view. Okay? Twelve panels, not nine panels there. Don't, don't try to cheat on me directly okay, on this one. No introductions. And I saw that most of you guys have seen my presentations, my video presentations from week 10 about the storyboard. There, right. there is 119 views for these videos. So I assume that most of you guys have saw those videos. How actually I create the ideas and the story at the same time. And I did mention by looking at this at these pictures there, right? There's 12 panels there, not nine panels. Okay. You guys want to keep quiet until the end of the sessions here? Okay, let's we keep quiet until two o'clock. Okay. Oh no. Why? No, sir. You don't wanna. Okay, what? You just watch these pictures back again, learn from these visuals there, and we keep quiet, okay? You can do whatever that you want. And I can actually, right, just looking at the screen over here and enjoy myself there, right, okay? Enjoy myself waiting for you guys there. Great. Any questions? No question. Wow. That means you actually understand that, right? So don't make the same mistakes. Don't take for granted that, right? Okay? If we might, we'll see each other next year, next semester, that, right? Face to face. I was hoping that you can change the way that you're going to work. Not only for my subjects, not only for my classes, for each lecturer's kind of discipline there, okay? We're talking about not the, 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 the discipline of the rules there, okay? But the discipline of your efforts there, right? Okay, guys? Okay. Who is it? I mean... What? Amen, the right, okay. Amen, the right. Okay, amen, the right, okay. I have a very strong eyes on you, on your work there, all right? So improvise, learn to diversify, and also be more flexible on your work there, right, okay? And the rest of you guys also the same there, right, okay? Marisa also, right, okay, I want to open up your kind of work there. And we want to make some post-mortem on that, right? Okay. Are you ready, there, Uh mm. mm, Okay. Mm. I'm not saying that, okay, I'm just choosing girls, there, okay, because uh, just now I'm choosing men also, guy there, right, okay, to post-mortem the works there, right? But Marisa is one of the Group members, basically, I already choose you guys, one of you guys, okay, from group six, right? I'm actually choose randomly because I know that this person, right, okay, no offender, okay, I will try, 
you never ask me any questions. Right? You don't have anybody to consult with me there, right? Okay? So that's why when I actually look at someone works that never been consulted from me, right? Not insult, but consult, right? So I will actually remind, I will take notes on these kind of people's there. Not because I want to offend anyone, right? Okay? Because I want to show you guys what is your mistake that you can improve later on in the future. Okay? You parents, I believe, spend enough kind of money in order for you to learn. If you guys also my kids, I will feel the same way. I will treat the same way. Okay? So put more efforts there. I really appreciate those who actually have the efforts here to give more extra kind of what you call that value on your work. Okay? Even though yeah, I would say it can be improved, right? But for me, all right, uh, when I was like you guys first semesters, I don't even know how to draw like this using Photoshop. Right? Drawing, yes, but the real methods of drawing the characters in three different positions i never take that kind of classes yet i don't have those kind of experience yet i only know how to develop the turnaround model sheet turnaround characters uh, when i was actually fourth semester there. When I start to design one of my alien characters that I actually want to bring over to my final year projects in eight semesters, there, right? because I combine all these diploma into degrees that I not a fast track, there, okay, but a bit kind of what we call that the program actually have eight years at eight semesters there, right? Eight semesters, four sem uh, eight semesters, four years there, right? okay, that I spent. Right? So you guys have this kind of privilege there. So put more extra efforts on it. Okay, from week 10, only 61 person who actually have submit. Okay, Marisa, they're right here. Do you actually submit in week 10 or week 9? Or you haven't submitted yet? Oh, I submitted. In? Week 10 or week 9, Darren? Where is it, Marissa? Uh, I submitted both. Both, then. Can you see your name there? I submitted. It says submitted. Which week? Both I'm very sure. Right? Which week? The right. Can, can you see the name there? Week nine and week ten. I submitted all. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me check there again. Okay? You can yeah. see the screen there, right? Yeah. I can't see all that here, this one, so we can. all the names also that we have there. It's basically uh, the exercise that we did there, right? Why there is no Texas line on the on the 
coconut tree there. Okay, all this background that you try to draw the record noise up is basically for your final assignments. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. This works. Uh, this is like the practice of the, the basic structure, and then uh, I, I moved on with the environment for my final project. Have you actually worked with the different kind of design style based on the reference that you have? The improvised in the record? Uh, from there? No worries. So those are the things that we need to apply directly. Uh, when it comes to because the video that I actually show you guys were basically the videos that actually gave some of the example how do you improvise from what you actually have been given the remedy. Because if you have that kind of good kind of understanding to improve your books from there, this might be better than you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. From here, did you do any kind of improvement there? You did you like your presentations? A lot of people they don't actually write, break out all these ideas and add some detailing and give a little bit kind of and set kind of color key or sample of the illustrations before they're going to be finalized then. Okay? This thumbnail you can do it only one day, but this is week 12. What basically you need, you actually have done from that following kind of weeks after week 10 directly? Do you have any kind of improvement from there? And one of the most important thing is that you have to understand do, did you really like your kind of ideas and your stories and your project at this time? If you say that you don't like it, you have to change. You have to decide on your own here. Okay? You need to find enough kind of reference to develop each kind of panels in order to show your kind of understanding and efforts to be, to create your final illustration books. Okay, all of you. Uh, I actually quite like my story because it's actually based on uh, something quite close to me. So yeah. Okay, have you done any kind of improvement on the visuals to present it well later on before you finalize them? Sorry? Did you basically have improved each panels, okay, before you finalize them for your for your third assignments? The Which thumbnail is, actually I'm not very satisfied with it, but I'm working on the final project and I think I can I can actually see the improvement there. It's not it's not a very huge improvement, but at least there's improvement. And I will try better. Can you show us today? Um, I didn't actually. I I'm still at my second. Well, my second frame. So, can't really see much. And I still have to touch up. It's okay. I want to see the progress of work because if you can share with us that here today, at least even though it's not finished, right? I don't want to see the finished projects, right? Sometimes. If I didn't haven't seen any kind of the of your friends' works, okay, your student the student works basically right, in the progress. Suddenly I saw the final works there. And what are the things that I don't like to see and I really hate to evaluate 
I haven't seen this kind of person progress before. And they actually present me something with the moment of values that I think of the works. They show a lot of laziness, they show a lot of weakness, and they don't even bother to, to present it well. Then I will dig into more on their works, this, this kind of student works later on for each week, that to make sure that they don't deserve to pass the subject. I really hate to do that because why? Because I've done a lot of works, but I have to do more extra work for you guys to make sure that I don't fail this person. But by the end of the day, I had to. I had to do that because the full of the commitments of those students, of the student itself. Do you understand what I mean, guys? I really like, I, I don't like to fail people then, but don't force me to do that because of your laziness. Okay? Because all the record we have in these Google Classrooms, you cannot run away from them. You cannot even defend yourself because you don't like to submit, you're lazy enough, you blame on me back again. The management always know. We always know your tricks. So we have the, what we call that, the form that you have to, what we call that, uh, submit for hours kind of teaching experience with you guys. You put, most of people, most students basically who doesn't like me, as usual, they will talk all bad things about me there. I'm okay with it, but we as a management always know what kind of student is this, even though you don't put things. Most of them is the student who fail, who lazy enough to do the works. Okay, so don't have this kind of mentalities, right? If you really want to. Go through with your lessons there for your diploma director, for your courses director. That's a child this directly. That's a child this kind of attitude. Immature directly. Okay? Because I put a lot of efforts to you guys there. You have to come you have to actually write, respond and also cooperate with me. You don't have to basically praise me, buy me things, right? You know, there for you to get good months there. You just have to show your commitment on your works there, your interest, and your kind of inquiries that we might bring to help you. And I did also give you guys some examples. The resources where you want to go from here. Okay. I just want to share with you guys one thing. What was that thing? In order to create your own color schemes, you can use these color generators there. Okay, color generators. There. We call color generators there. This kind of color generators, basically, you guys can choose any color that you want. Examples, and you use it for your sample of works for your thumbnails and also for your design as well. Okay, which are things then? This is simple thing, right? You just can print screen and paste back into your Photoshop, and then you just pick the colors using eyedroppers and colors, right? test them up. If you don't know what color that you want to use, don't randomly. Choose any kind of weird colors that is not actually quite suitable for your presentations. All right, guys? So that's how actually you can move on from there. Pick the colors and paint according to your illustrations, to your object, okay? and experiment them as well. Those are one thing there. Like Marisa kind of works there, right? I don't know whether you. This is only my samples. This is my reference. Uh, 
I have this kind of comics with me, but this comic basically right. They use a lot of human model reference there and also traditional kind of medias that you work with these illustrations. The name of the author, maybe Neil Gilman, Neil, Neil Damon, okay, but the artist is uh, my favorite kind of comic novel, normal graphic artist, or I think comics, uh, Dave McKee. Dave McKee. I have this comic with me there, I think. This is one of my favorite kind of comics, not because of the stories there, but the tech and the visual itself. If you saw my previous kind of these uh, comics there, right, that I actually produced, I actually use, I actually follow, and I actually have the great attentions uh, to use this kind of style for my comics there. Right, if you saw the Hikayat Patani there, okay, from my works before there, right? I'm using the same kind of approach, but I didn't copy that, right? Hmm. It's like Arcade there, right? Okay, it's a Dave McKean kind of what we call that uh, artworks there. Right? Okay, this is a manual traditional kind of media. They use a lot of uh, photo realistic kind of drawing styles there. If you really love other than just conventional manga styles of characters and chibi, this is one of the styles that I always love to have with my kind of works already. This one. Okay, this one there, right? This is my works there, right? You guys have seen before, right? I'm using the same methods, but I'm using traditional medias. Traditional medias to work with this kind of comic styles there, right? Because this comic basically, when I read the scripts, okay, from my friend's kind of uh, dad, right? He actually one of our, our Sastrawan Nagaru there, okay? So I have been friends with my his sons, basically as my co-worker directly, and one of the company before. So he, his dad actually right read the scripts, because his dad basically is a one of our national kind of. Uh, professional kind of poem directly. In, uh, in, 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 in the Sastra one there, right? Dato Anwar So when he want me to, what we call that, uh, illustrate her stories there, so I did a few research there, right? Okay? And when I read the stories, I have this kind of understanding, right? Okay? When I actually go through the stories, I find out the stories is quite heavy. So I cannot use a simple cartoon style character for these stories. So and also, I want to explore a bit more on my styles there to give you a more kind of heavy kind of looks on my presentations, just to give a bit kind of impact on my way to present my own comic styles at the times. But I believe directly, I spent two weeks in my studios. I go out often to produce this one there, right? Right, back to back, I do my own routines, take care of my families there at the same time. But I did all those things. Okay, two weeks, I have to complete all those 12, 13 pages, 16 pages that I've been taking there, right? But I did research, I go to the research, okay, I go to Patani, go to Thailand, actually to do a bit kind of research like, for three days. 
but I cannot go to Patani because at that time there is a, 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 a civil kind of war there again in the, the side there. Right? I think Sharon Pride know about it. I don't know whether you actually have actually born before they get a time there. Right? But this kind of book, I think around 2008, 2007 there. Right? I can't remember the, the years there. So I did go to there. Okay, I go to Thailand actually twice there, right? Okay? But the second time I did, I did go, I have to do a big kind of research there. Okay, so that's what I said. Okay, I do more research not only to develop or to 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 get more information, visual information. For the locations, okay, get the feels of the of the environments that I want there, right, okay, from the stories. At the same time, I do more research also back again. Okay, Black Optic basically is a story that cross over back men and also these uh, female superheroes, right? It's the entire kind of Hero stories there, but I really love the presentation still. I really love the the amount of sample of visual that Dave McKean works directly. But I'm not saying that you just have to follow. But I want to give you guys some examples there. Can you see basically this kind of layout and also compositions? It's almost the same like this one there, see? Right. And this one there, right? Almost there. Okay. This is as a chameleon. This is as a snake. And I did actually post every single kind of action for these characters there. And I did also use my features of face to become the main characters there, right? Do you see that? Do you see that, right? So if you actually have a very good kind of strong understanding, you can actually put yourself in your visuals. There. That's what illustrators and artists always do. Okay. So remember that this visual basically I have been commissioned two twice directly. One visuals that I create were basically been paid twice. So this is tunnel, this is based on my own stories there. But when I actually develop these stories, I develop in my head and I sketch it out okay, on the papers and then I start to draw them down. Okay? It's a two series. Or three series of these characters there, right? Huh? Okay, three series there. So it's all about the connection between a man with his the ideas that they have that he wants to connect it between the reality and also his struggle with the with the fictional or visual kind of visual kind of rules there, right? So it's the story is a little bit more like like abstract story they were again at the times. But I did also do, did a lot of research there, okay? Okay, if I want to comment my works, I don't like this kind of painting style there. But at the times, right, there is a lot of limitations on my idea of working because I have to go through also with a lot of what we call that, like uh, a lot of timing there, okay? And I, I actually, uh, what we call that, 
do two jobs at the same time they're writing so i really rushing a little bit there okay but uh, i was delaying a lot okay with this work there so for for me okay it's not only how they pay me there okay but how actually i can promote myself there okay i want to make my mark there okay my marks for everything that i do if i don't see any kind of potential that i can show the marks on the works i won't do it there right maybe i can wait for the money only there but not all the times okay not all the time there right? and that's why you have to push yourself from there okay so those are basically one of the pages and this is the other pages that I actually create okay using photoshop there this will also purely 100 percent photoshop and superimpose with some of the pictures there right scanning right experiment some of the vector files in ai this one using ai you know this one the last rate is combined with photoshop scanning images and photos there this is i'm using 3d there okay one of the 3d applications there the why also i'm using 3d applications there okay it works with it this boy basically also 3d there right? applications there combined with pictures drawing back again this is photo of my eldest daughters there some photo superimpose right this guy also okay the way that i portray myself for this characters also in 3d so i using photo made it, i impose them back i adjust them back okay, this one using ai there right? okay ai combined with 3ds combined with photo, this is basically 3d there okay right? that i will draw back here so if you want to become a bit more creative, you have to experiment a lot, spend more time there. This one basically, when I draw, I have a reference also at the same time. Because when I actually running out of time directly to to, to work with the, the what we call that the deadline there, right? To submit you did the deadline there, right? I have to find any kind of resources that can help me to visualize those ideas there, other than just imagine yourself there, right? imaginations combined also with your resources there okay that you works it has to be it has to be there right? that's how actually you can develop yourself okay And if you want to work with a very simple kind of design like this, go ahead. This is the character. This this is the one actually you're going to explore next semester, hopefully there. Put a very simple kind of designing characters, which is in Photoshop, digital illustrations books. This is this is basically a children's book illustrations. Mostly it's a chat those illustration styles there. But I'm using different kind of styles of working there, right? Okay. The design itself. Combination of colors, but I did not use color what we call that. I'm not use the color generators to work. So I'm using my own kind of understanding of warm and cool color to develop the illustrations there. Okay. It's all about working hard, right, guys. Okay, if you love, like Marisa say, if you really love what you do, that okay, you have to do a lot right now. Don't wait there. Don't take it for granted, right? Because the potential that you have and time that you have, that you could, that you can plan, right? By doing slowly and improve each part of the works. If you not actually do it well. You will actually do it last minute and the result is not good there. Then you will blame that you don't have chimes. 
you blame the times because you have been given all the time there that you want. Okay? So we wait until the Azan actually arrives. And we can continue our discussions. All right, signal to noise is also one of my favorite kind of graphic novels, other than Mr. Punch directly from the same illustrators there, right? Artists. The story is all about uh, one of uh, one old man actually waiting for he has a cancer, if I'm mistaken there. So he's waiting for his day to pass directly. So. It's a very, very kind of dark kind of story still, right? but I really love the visual itself. That actually have been influenced me to develop also my own kind of styles, right? Develop my own kind of visuals there. I love this kind of visuals directly that actually have a very dra dramatic, heavy kind of looks and feels there. Um, so let me say like Caroline graphic novel, all right? Came from Dave McKean at the same time, all right? You can see the visual itself. He used a lot of compose, super compositions there. Okay, on the work itself there. Even though they do it manually, but yeah, they, they really show basically the quality of those visual right at the same time. 
the look and feel. Okay, this is also one of the good example that I also have. Right, crazy hair. Okay, it's just like you're reading a poem there. Okay, the modern poem there. Okay. So this is basically the the layout. Okay, for the inside kind of books. Okay, of this picture books there. Okay. So it's like a poem there. Okay, realize that. Okay, hopefully you guys can get a little bit more like. A great kind of sparks there. So this one using digital stuff, huh? right? They combine with real hair, if I'm not mistaken, uh, with the brushes, styles, their strokes. You can Photoshop there, right? You can use Photoshop there to work with it. You just have to explore a bit there, right? And some collage styles there, of drawing illustrations, combined with painting and styles of works there, right? So. You have to be a little bit more messiness directly. You have to be inside that stories, that visuals there. If you really want to visualize things, it is a little bit more like line drawings here. That you want. It can be. Okay. This is the guy there, I think. This is the artist there, Dave Kutch. I never met him directly, and my kind of way of way, my kind of way of uh, I don't know right uh, My kind of way of uh, faces. Okay, some of the artists that I love to see, I didn't like to be like a normal kind of fan directly. I don't like to make or welcome people. Sir. I don't know why. Sometimes I don't like to celebrate people, sir. especially the celebrities. Even though I have those friends from celebrities, right? Here, or friend of artists, right? Here, I don't like to celebrate people. Right? And some people like to, right? because I always love to treat them like a normal human. Right? There, there's nothing special about him. But only the skills that I actually appreciate and respect, right? The only human that, right? Okay. So what I appreciate actually, right, the skills that. Okay? So I don't actually find myself just to become a, a very kind of fan that actually, right, or want to have a photo with my kind of idols or whatever it is, right? Because the only human that I res I respect his works. Or most of the people's work there, but I don't have keen directly to shoot photos or meet them directly because you know, I don't know, but okay, right? But I do respect their works there. Most of the friends, more of my friends, but I do respect that. I really love the works, okay? I really appreciate and respect the works there, but as a human, I will treat them equal. There. Those are my bad side of celebrate other people. Yeah, I celebrate my family, friends, kind of what we call that uh, birthday party, okay, some what we call that every year kind of occasions. But for me, because I don't actually like, I don't like to celebrate myself in front of other people. Today. If I enjoy myself, I'm enjoying my lonely time there, right? all the times. So I really enjoy myself on there. So that means I appreciate the works, I really respect the works. People, yes, I can actually enjoy talking to other people, have some break, tea time there, talking, talking a lot there, right? Okay, that's it. Right. Party or the kind. I'm not the one, right? so it's quite boring to become me there okay, if you're not actually enjoy the lonely time that you have on yourself, right? But it's good for you to have mingling around with other people there if you, that thing make you feel good about it, right? But for me, I'm enjoying myself sharing with you guys, right? Have a little bit of my time with my kids, my 
children, their family, their right thing. But if you talk about partying all the time, party, that kind of things, hmm, I would rather party in my head, their right thing. They will be more fun for me. Right, in my head, I can actually party along the way, their right thing, towards. Right. So those are the things they got, okay? If you want to be good, to be to be best, okay? To be doing the thing that you want, don't just do wanna be there, okay? You have to be inside your stories there. You have to be inside your stories there. So that's how actually you can actually put yourself at efforts to develop your kind of skills. Okay? To develop your skills. All right, guys, any questions so far? All right, work with a three-quarter view there, okay? Work three-quarter view, okay, to portray your actions for your characters there. Don't use side profile all the times, okay? Because the way that you want to portray your works has to be in three-quarter view there. Front view, also, it doesn't look quite presentable there. But if you check look most of the works from other artists there, right? The, they always use three-quarter position. If you take this one, then this is a three-quarter position. They're not just only sub profile. There is one side over there, right? They portray them. But normally, in this side profiles, they show an evil kind of looks and feel. Right, of some of the characters there. This one, right? But not all visual going to use subprofile, but normally when people use subprofiles, they want to show some evil kind of looks. That side, good side of people there, but most of it in three quarter positions. Okay? Three quarter positions there. Mm -hmm. Batman also has the a very bad kind of emotionally kind of experience, life experience. That's why they show subtle parts there. They want to show the evil out from the person still or the or the most kind of what we call that the moments of those emotional kind of dark kind of feelings there. Okay, this is also from the same artist there, right? They, 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 uh, okay? they use a lot of mixed media, super compositions, right? Okay? Super imposed there, okay? And combine with both kind of medias at the same time. Dave McKean, right? Kind of works. Other than you just have to know about, right? You want to design. You already showed me, right? I already show you guys also this kawaii kind of character design, there, right? So you want to design a kawaii versions? Make sure you can do more better than mine. Yeah. Right. So, like I said before, This subject, uh, this cause of the sleep is not a normal people's thing. If you think that you're not normal there, right? In the right way, in a creative way, this is the cause that's right for you. It just, you just want to be like so, so, the right way. You have to think about it back again. If you have to put your emotional kind of psycho, no show kind of minded into your presentations, don't do it there. Show it on your words. That's the most appropriate way. This is a more professional way. Okay? Uh, a lot of people want to do show them a little bit kind of emotionally, mental kind of illness on the faces or whatever things that you want to show on your icon there, right? Don't do it there. Right? Not worth it. You don't get paid on it, right? I get paid work because of I'm doing those kind of things there. 
So we make money out of it, right? okay? All those kind of things. So using your emotional kind of mind kind of feelings into your work, right? produce the best work that right? okay? They can show your kind of creative metal trade kind of mind into your visuals there. Yeah. But you have to get, you need to have, or you want to show your fitness, I'll show you guys also a lot of fitness there, right? On the works before. So, you do it there, right? On yourself. Okay? Children's kind of style there that I produce. Okay? This is one of the children hospital kind of works, right? You can see a lot of difference there, right? So those are the things that you have to go through. But you have to work hard out of it, right? And work smart at the same time. Work smart at the same time. Otherwise, you just be a part of average kind of guy there. Right? Try to be beyond average there. You're not here because you want to be average. You want to become someone else. Right? If you want to be here to become average, you can learn business studies there. You can become, uh, I think, most of the courses nowadays also, they want to become a bit more beyond average. Beyond average there. Okay? So don't become an average people here. Right? Become different there in a creative way in a more beneficial way directly. That's how we can grow creatively as a design student. Any questions? No question. Sure. All right, guys, hopefully you guys can understand what I'm meaning about it. Because I want you guys to be to be presented well on your works in any other way there. Okay? You want to draw a kawaii kind of design, make sure you can draw in the right way. Right? Then just feel want to be only there. Right? But of course the sketches have to be right first before you finalize that. Right? This is one of the design based from your friend but I don't know, I can't remember the name. He wants to draw the cat samurai characters. I believe I do it more better than him. Because why? Because of the studies, reference there. The design basically, I'm sketching it in a very simple way there, okay? Simplify the shapes and understand your kind of subject matter there before you go to design something else. All right, because I'm not sketching anything for you guys. I want to show you guys, okay? If I want to design, for example, there, right, the cat characters, but based on one single shape. Right, it's not fair, like, right? If I'm not actually draw for you, especially when Marisa is here, right? Well, I just think they're right. So, if I want to draw a cat character. But don't draw characters. The one of the things that I don't like, you draw something like this one, the eyes. Square. I'm not drawing eyes in square there. See? Based on the same design, but I'm using different kind of shape there. So So the hands a bit more floating kind of hands. Because this is designer, right? Uh, we actually try to right, develop different kind of way of working directly in styles. Yes. The samurai kind of cat. Based on the, the same design but different kind of shapes, a different kind of style there. This one is 
page of characters. Two heads of characters there. Eh? Right, shapes. Two shapes of head there, right? This is one head only there. See how actually I develop those kind of understanding from here. That's how it works. That's the way we roll, guys. That's the way we roll. Okay? So, thank you very much, there, guys, for having me today for week 12. And thank you also for those who actually join us. All right, 50 person actually join us right now. Anyone from other groups that I haven't actually take the names? Anyone? I think no. You know right? Group two, sir. Group two, who is it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Me also good group two. Justin. Who is it? Alright. Anyone group two? Thank you, sir. Good right, thing. Yeah? Group three. Who is it? Right, nobody, right? So guys, thank you very much there for having me today. And hopefully you guys we enjoy the ride and most of you guys please improve your work there we know who you are the right again and then i'll see you guys next week just to evaluate and go through with some of the works so hit me for our lesson class and also for the following kind of session all right so thank you very much have a nice day and all the best thank you,